NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, we've gotten a lot of rain over the last couple of days. We have, and Tyler's outside by the Burlington waterfront, and it looks like it's not raining right now, Tyler. It's turning into a nice evening. We don't have much sun, but the rain is pretty much done here in Burlington. Just got the clouds, and of course, we fix that tomorrow. But we are down here because it is the first ever Shake Your Buoy fundraiser for a nonprofit that's pretty new. It's called Sail Beyond Cancer, and they take people on the lake for free that are battling cancer. Pretty cool, and there's a website if you would like to uh, uh, anonymously nominate someone for one of these rides, but we are joined by two people now who have been on several sales. We've got Steve and Vinny. They are actually buddies, so we're so happy that you're able to join us on NBC5 together. You guys have the most energy in the room, and you're both <laughs> going through treatment for cancer now. The question I have is, what, what does the sale do to you when you're going through those rounds of chemo or whatever it may be? Vinny, you want to give him a start? I, I would I know say you it. Um, it makes time stand still. It's like you don't think about what you have or what you've been through. It just, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, it does something to you. It, it takes really, your mind off things. Yeah, it definitely does. Yeah, it releases the spirit too. I would say that. I, there's a sign on one of the uh, pull-up banners, cancer free for one day. And while that's true in that present moment, it creates more moments out because it's a, it's a spirit lifter. It's just wonderful to be out there with other folks. It's quiet and to feel the power of that wind and the, and the sail and the water going through it. And it's just a, it's a magical place, it isn't is, it, Vinny? It is, it isn't is. Isn't it? I mean, you've been on them. I've been on them. We, we lend our voice to it because of the power of what Suzanne Johnson and the folks that sail beyond cancer are doing. It's just a wonderful thing. I, I've got friends that are showing up from Springfield, Vermont, because they want to support for us and what this has meant for us. So it's it's remarkable. We're so grateful to be here. Yeah, Vinny, definitely. Yeah, definitely. we spent our day talking. I mean, <laughs> we made sure we were here. We made sure we were here. Well, guys, thank you for coming by to chat with us. And uh, we hope that you have a, a blast tonight in there at the uh, the Shake Your Buoy event. You might have to show me a couple of moves because I'm not very good at that. Well, thank we you for that. having us. Yeah, this is great. And Thanks thank you everybody. for the support. You bet. Well, you we're bet. happy to be here. All right, let's great. take a look at some of the conditions out there right now. We've got the North Hero camera lined up where there's some rain falling, but this is really the tail end of it. Maybe a couple just uh, leftover showers this evening. And we slowly dry out tonight, so things will be in good shape, especially by tomorrow morning. We'll move along and show you that the temperatures are mostly in the 60s. I had the clouds all day, so kind of hard to warm up beyond that. And uh, as we move along, the radar shows the leftover showers, but we'll zoom out and show you that really once again, we're sort of in the unlucky zone. There's sun way off to our west, sun to our east. We've just been stuck under this front. So Futurecast shows the clouds left over for this night and tomorrow morning, at least for a couple hours in the morning. But then the sun comes out. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon and evening and as we go into the weekend too. So the call overnight is drying out with 50s to about 60, very comfortable. And then up into the 70s and low 80s tomorrow, you'll notice the humidity increasing. That'll be a big change tomorrow. So we'll take a look at the five day forecast plus five here and show you that Friday, Saturday, Sunday are the really nice days in this forecast. Now it does turn hot. We've got mid 80s on Saturday, low 90s on Sunday. Oppressive humidity too over the weekend. And then some showers will cool us off by Monday.